Hi, Luciana. I'm going to read you a book. This book is called Yeti, Turn Out the Light. And it is by Greg Long and Chris Edmondson. It's illustrated by Wednesday Kerwin. This book belongs to Luciana. Oops. There's a Yeti and also some deer down by an idyllic stream. From deep in the forest, there comes a loud yawn. It's Yeti. He's sleepy for the day's nearly gone. Look at that sleepy Yeti. So Yeti heads home, eats his dinner, and flosses. Dental hygiene is very important. Then he snuggles into bed, but he turns and he tosses. Tossing and also turning. Why, you may ask? Well, I'll tell you, my dear. Yeti sees shadows dart frightfully near. Look at that Yeti, he's kind of scared because of the shadows. They dance up the wall, and my, are they scary. Oh, what could it be? Yeti is wary. That means he's a little nervous. On the light goes, and to Yeti's surprise, he sees only bunnies and their big bunny eyes. Look at those bunnies. They're not very scary, huh? Back in bed with the bunnies, Yeti feels sleepy. Then he sits up and shouts, What's that shadow? It's creepy! That looks like a creepy shadow, but wait. On the light goes, but there's nothing to fear. It's just three little birds on top of a reindeer. You know what I think is cute is the little spots on the reindeer's butt. Pretty cute. Yeti is flustered. He needs milk to calm down. But when he reaches the kitchen, he hears a strange sound. Yeti flustered. Strange sound. Don't be scared. It's not scary. On the light goes. What could it be? Why, it's just bear and owl, and they're drinking some tea. See, Yeti thinks that... The it's scary in the dark, but really it's just cute things like owls drinking tea. Yeti tries to sleep with bunnies, birds, deer, bear, and owl, but he soon sees a shadow so frightfully foul. Look at that Yeti sleeping in there. Then he thinks something is scary, but it's not scary. It's not. On the light goes, all the animals scatter. But Yeti just laughed, for there's nothing to matter. The shadow is just us, Yeti says with a sigh. It's time to go home, friends. Sweet dreams and goodbye. He's reading a book called Yeti Life. Pretty cute. With a bed to himself and the dark all around, the Z's Yeti yearned for. 
are finally found. Ugh. The end! The moral of this story is don't be scared at night because all of the things that are might be scary shadows are probably just bunnies and owls having tea. I love you. I hope you come see me soon. Love you, Lucy. Bye.